So I have three batteries, they're all alkaline, they're all of the same box, they're lot number, or at least the number that is imprinted on the casing is 1012R. So here's one battery, and I'll measure its potential. So that is a fully charged battery, so it's at 1.62. And I'm gonna leave that one unmarked. And here's another battery. So this one has some potential on it, roughly 3.9, or <clears throat> and then here's another battery. This one is at 1.385, so I'm going to mark that with a red sharpie, so we can identify it throughout testing. Okay. So hopefully that'll be visible throughout testing. And here is the third battery. It measures less than one volt. It is 0.97 volts. So we're gonna mark that one with a black Sharpie. Okay, so these should all be identifiable throughout the test, which is the bounce test. Hooray! The new fangled bounce test. Okay, so here is the good battery and if I drop it from the height of another battery it doesn't bounce it thuds as they say now here is the semi good battery oh it bounces that's not good and then here's the bad one. Oh, it bounces too so you would be throwing away some good batteries or partially good batteries if you would do this bounce test as a standard. Yeah, so you could use the bounce test really to determine whether a battery is good, like perfectly good. But partially good, you get the same result.